Bobcats, congratulations. We did it. We had the world's most memorable year together and I couldn't be more proud of you. You did it. Today is the last full day of our 2019-2020 school year. We did it. And what better way to honor this day than to read a story together. Oh, the places you'll go. So today will be the Oh, you'll, the places you'll go day. And I hope that you enjoy all the activities that your teachers have put together for this very, very fun, very memorable second to last day of school. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, the places you will go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and you'll look down. You'll look them over with care. About some of you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down just any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, it's the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go, Bobcats. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have that speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead wherever you fly. You'll be the best of the best wherever you go. You will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups and they can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not always easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and then three quarters or maybe not right? Or go around back and sneak in front and behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up their mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads and a breaknecking pace and grind on four miles across weirdish wildish space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the people to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. We might know a little bit about waiting right now, huh? I think we're all doing a very good job of being in our home waiting place. Waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for the wind to fly a kite or waiting around for a Friday night or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting in that waiting place. But no, it's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing with banner flip-flopping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of a guy. Oh, the 
places you'll go, there's fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous, as famous as can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win, and games you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right or out of your pants. <clears throat> there are some down the road between Hitcher and you, hither and yon, that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But you will go on through the weather be foul, on you will go through your enemies prowl, on you will go through the hack and cracks howl, onward up many a frightening creek, through your arms, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know, you'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go, so be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact. And remember that life's just a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed, Bobcats? Yes, yes you will indeed. Well, 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Bobcats, you're gonna move mountains. So be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai or Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places, Bobcats. Today is our day, our very last full day of school this school year. Today is our day. Your mountain is waiting, Bobcats. So go get out on your way. And that is the end of our read aloud today. Our very last school read aloud of the school year. Congratulations, Bobcats. I couldn't be more proud of you and all of your hard work this year with your classmates and your teachers and now your parents who are also trying to be your teacher at home. We have done an incredible job together this year and you should be so proud of this year, this memorable history-making year where we got to spend the last nine weeks at home saving the world together. Bobcats, pat yourselves on the back. Do a great job today. Have a great end of the school year. We miss you. I can't wait to see you again sometime soon and have a wonderful summer. Today is your day. Go get on your way. Bye, Bobcats.